IFM was the first rail smart product that we deployed. It's effectively a control logging software. So IFM stands for Incident and Fleet Management. It's an online system like all the other three squared apps. And effectively, you can log incidents into it. You can attach photos and, and feed into it real time. We've been using it for about a year now, and we're really pleased with it. It has a great advantage that it comes with an iPad application and an iPhone application so that incidents can be added to in real time. All incidents are recorded into IFM as part of our safety case, so anything from a performance incident to a safety incident to logging extra hours worked by staff. IFM in the main is used by the control office who use it as their primary source of logging incidents. Um, it can also be used by production managers, operation managers in the field who can add to incidents using the iPhone and the iPad app. We currently don't have plans to deploy IFM to frontline staff. All communication should take place through the control office as it does today. By, by using this new technology, IFM gives us better access to information in real time, so it allows us to deliver a better service for our customers and report real time on issues to them. By tracking information real time in IFM and using the technology available to us, it allows us to deliver better information to our customers in real time. This gives us a great performance advantage leading to the company's success. MCA is the mobile concerting application and it works on the iPad. It's part of the RailSmart suite as with all the other products. MCA allows you to arrive, consist and depart a train on an iPad without the need to make a phone call through to TOPS. This will work well at small sites where trains come in, trains go out. And part of the early feedback was that it would work a lot better if we could get information from TOPS into the system to avoid the need to input lots of wagons. We're developing this at the moment and we'll get this rolled out as part of further updates. As part of MCA you'll be able to see your consist and it'll produce a driver's slip which will appear on the iPad. Further training will be given on this as we roll it out across our sites. Matiza is a timetable advisory system which runs as an app on the iPad. Initially it sits on a cradle in the cab of the locomotive and allows the driver to see the schedule of the train running ahead. It's fairly simple to use. You input the head code of the train and it pulls the schedule from tops so you can see the timing points ahead of you and it will also show you whether you're early or late against the planned schedule. On completion of the journey it uses GPS data to see whether the train was early or late against the schedule and then tracks the data so that you can input reasons why the train may have been delayed. This is simple and quick to do on completion of the journey and replaces a series of paper forms, phone calls, emails to chase up why delays may have occurred two or three days later, making the process a lot slicker and easier. This allows us to give better performance by improving things and also challenging any delay attribution from Network Rail. In order to use Matizi, you'll need an iPad with the application installed but also a locomotive with the cradle fitted so that the iPad can be securely attached, plugged into the power source and run just Matiza whilst the train is in motion. We're rolling out the cradles across the fleet starting in late 2019, so you'll start to see these appear over time. Hubs Docs Forms is the 21st century notice board for rail operations and gives you access to all the documentation and forms that you need in the course of your duties. It replaces paper notice boards in the depots and for those of you more recently using iPads it replaces the existing Hubs Docs Forms which we've given a refresh and for those of you that have used Chameleon in the past it'll replace that. Make sure as part of your training you understand to how to find your way around Hubs Docs Forms so you know where to find the information that you need, where to find the forms that you need and how to send them. Again, like all the applications, if you need additional support going forward, please seek help from your line manager or colleagues who will be happy to show you how to find the information. The docs area of Hubs Docs Forms allows access to documentation, such as methods of work for example, whereas the forms area is about you feeding back or providing information, so orders for new uniform or reports on incidents for example. The system will also provide alerts through the hub system, so potentially it will advise on emergency restrictions of speed or emergency operating notices that you may need to be aware of. 